Hello, hello! Where Phineas Pete here. Back to laugh at more tragically Dickensian deaths down in the dreary deeps of Perfidious or Manor in Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, you know what? I said it last episode and I'll say it again. I'm not ashamed of it. I laugh when Little Nell dies in the old curiosity shop. And honestly, I kind of feel like that's actually the reaction that Dickens was looking to evoke when he wrote it. He created a character so unspeakably good and noble so that he could specifically ramp up the outlay rage a little bit later when he murdered her. He straight up trolled the literary world back in the early 1840s because, you know, in case you're unaware of the sort of surrounding of the old curiosity shop, that series of works was basically like the Harry Potter of the early 19th century. Before there was Harry Potter, there was little Nell Trent and the old curiosity shop. People really wanted to know how that story ended, and a lot of them weren't really happy when he gave Nell the axe. It, it, it was beautiful, really. He killed Nell, the hero, the good and noble virtuous girl, and then had her grandfather just die as well out of his own despair and grief. That's some epic level trolling, man. It'd be like if at the end of the Hunger Games, instead of, you know, uh, Katniss and Peeta wandering back to District 12 to raise a family, they just, uh, you know, had Katniss be found guilty and sentenced to death at her trial there at the end, and then a heartbroken Peeta slowly wasted away because he refused to eat and just died of grief. Holy shit, though, now that I think about it, you know what? She should have totally done that. That would have been a way better ending to the Hunger Games. Damn, man, that Dickens is a goddamn visionary. That guy knew his shit. Pete, what's this got to do with Darkest Dungeon? I don't know, nothing. We got Nell Trent on the team, and she's probably going to wind up dead, so it seemed appropriate, or at least a little so. What are we looking to do this mission? Mostly kill time. I'm, st I'm ready to go on my dungeon run. I've got my chosen team. They're ready to rock. They just need a little chance to get some stress relief. So whatever we do this week, it really doesn't matter. We're just sort of looking to fill a little time. I don't hate the idea of taking Dawson, Bradshaw, Nell, and uh, Elizabeth March down in the dungeon here. This is not a terrible team. Is there a medium dungeon you guys wouldn't hate? Gathering three ancestors' relics. Um, No, Fulminating Prophet can lick my dong. There is a short... <sighs> you know what? We can go to the Warrens because it's not a champion-level dungeon. I'm not going to go mess with the Swine King. That's just stupid. We already have a Bounty Hunter's Helmet. What's this, a uh, leper mask? I mean, it's not terrible, it's not great. It does give us a town event, but we really sort of don't care. You know what, Let's we're just killing time. Let's do the short mission. Not a lot of EXP to be had, but you know what? On a short mission, that will give us one more chance to roll with Jack Dawson later. I'm okay with that, and it will level Nick Bradshaw, which we also are kind of desirous to do. So let's get our party in order here. We're going to do Bradshaw in the number one slot. Nell backing things up. Hmm. Do I want to do now? Do I want to do that or would I rather do? Yeah, you know, we probably don't need Iron Swan that much. This team will do all right. Let's get uh, let's get these unequipped and get some trinkets strapped onto our folks here. Get them down in ye old dungeon. What we really need to get our hands on is another. Well, what we'd like is another blighted herb and another. Yeah, we need to replace the trinkets for our. We gotta replace the trinkets for our grave digger. Grave robber, plague doctor, plague doctor. We gotta replace the trinkets for our plague doctor that we lost when our last plague doctor stupidly was taken in to try and fight the fulminating prophet and got killed. So definitely brawler's gloves. And the quick draw charm. I really like the quick draw charm brawler's gloves combo that we did earlier. I know it does take the brawler's gloves off the table and it means our leper can't necessarily use them, but all things considered, I don't feel like that's a deal breaker. Ethereal Crucifix is interesting. We may fight some Eldritch. It's mostly going to be beasts and, like, humanoids, though. So maybe we just go with Dismas's head and a Book of Sanity? That seems reasonable. For you, my love, I think we definitely want to go with uh, Heaven's Hairpin. Get the stress reduction. Our light's going to be above 75. That gives us stress reduction and accuracy. And then we can take a bonus damage item to maybe help uh, compensate. I kind of, I kind of wish we had another, another head. We could go for the crescendo box. It's fifteen percent. It doesn't quite offset the. You know what? Yeah, it's fine. The crescendo box will do. 
And then here we got, you know, this, this is nothing fancy. We're going straight up standard build for Nell Trent here, Vestal. Speaking of which, Nell Trent, Vestal, what skills do you have? Like all the wrong ones? Let's let's fix these. We want this. Um, Dazzling Light, we don't like, actually. We want Judgment. There we go. These skills are acceptable. Your skills also are acceptable. And, yeah, everybody's good. We're, we're real good. We're ready to rock this dungeon. Okay, let's provision and get to work then. This is a short dungeon, so we don't exactly have to go crazy on provisions. Gonna take 12 food. I think we'll take three shovels just out of an abundance of caution. We already got two medicinal herbs, which is fine. Let's grab a couple anti-venom, a couple bandages. We don't necessarily need a key, but I'm gonna bring one anyway. And then I think we'll take... 14 torches. We good. Let's do this. Short mission. Probably overspent a little bit, but that's fine. We got plenty of cash. We're just killing time, man. We're murdering time. That's what we came down here to do. We came down here to murder time like Dickens murdered Nell and her grandfather. And like Suzanne Collins should have murdered Katniss and Peta. That really, really would have been a better ending. Oh, Pete, what's it's going to be a tragic? Of course, tragedy is always better. Perhaps we can slay them even Two kinds of people in the world. People who love tragedy, people who hate it. Perfidious Pete, I'm one of the people who loves tragedy. I like, you know, I prefer the tragic ending, man, because that's the way the real world works, man. It's not all smiles and sunshine. It's not like when the Germans buy your nuclear power plant. Oh, no, no, no. That's not how it goes. I'm a little disappointed we didn't get the kill there, I'm not gonna lie, but we will get it here, and that's fine. We got a chance for Jack Dawson to mop up what's left. Sweet dodge from Dawson. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit you with this. This guarantees that if we win a speed roll here, we kill the Bone Rabble before he gets to go. Yeah, he's doomed. And our boy here, the uh, cultist, you know, he ain't looking, looking so hot. In fact, he's dead now, too. All right, top notch. One fight. Didn't even take damage. That's my kind of win right there. Let's put uh, our party back in order. I'm tempted to use a medicinal herb to try and clean this debuff. Maybe a little early for that, though. Get this shovel out of the road. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. How are we doing on light? We got to be above 75, because remember, we have a couple trinkets that key off of that. Also, it's just generalized smart behavior. Down <gasps> Scrolls. Okay, who has the worst negative quirk? We gotta burn the scrolls. Torn Rotator Cuff does kinda suck. Necromania is not that bad. Flagellant is not bad at all. Fragile sucks. Kleptomaniac is shitty. Lagophobia is also bad. And Mercury, all of those things are bad. Okay, so Elizabeth March has got some, some shitty ones. Bad Gambler, don't really care about. Diurnal, not a big deal. Love Interest, also not a big deal. I mean, I feel like Elizabeth March is, uh, we, we just put her on the team, but I, th I think this is right, the right thing to do. Burn it. Okay, we got rid of Fragile. That's a good one to get rid of. Excellent. See, now we don't have to worry about Elizabeth's failing. Oh, wait a minute. Now I just realized Elizabeth March and Nell both sort of died in kind of a similar fashion. And we got them both on this mission. They both just kind of wasted away as a good-natured victim that wasn't really railing against the gods or fates for what they've done to them. I don't feel good about that, necessarily. I feel pretty good about that critical, though. That was nice. Good shot. Here comes the Eldritch Pull. Yanked in. All right. We, we took four stress damage from that. That's no big deal. Give me the bleed. Give me the bleed. All right, we got the bleed. That's good. We're not going to be able to double up on this guy. Let's just go single target. Give me the Doom Bolt. Didn't quite get it home. Comes a Tentacle Devour. This is just a, some small damage and it will mark us. Not the end of the world. Stressful Incantation. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll just do some Stress Relief. We've got plenty of damage to take this guy out. First things first, though. Thank you, Elizabeth. And then, I guess we'll go ahead and solo. Might as well move ourselves back to the front. You are going to just go ahead and go for the withstand. Get you rid of some of that stress you've just picked up, Jack Dawson. You got to withstand those cold waters, bro. It's going to keep you alive in the North Atlantic long enough for that door to float you to safety. <clears throat> All right. Critical was, uh, you know, unpleasant. 
We knew we weren't going to get much out of that. We have like a double stack of the debuff there. We're doing minus 80% damage, which is actually quite a lot. I don't want to give this guy a chance to critical us again. Let's just go ahead and take the, the just take the kill. I believe we use medicine on this. There we go. Killed any diseases, and we got all of the food in the universe, so we might as well eat it. This is like way more food than we could ever use in this entire dungeon. Grab ourselves another unburned torch. I wouldn't call an unburned torch treasure necessarily. Okay, we got the surprise, and you'll be like, Pete, your leper was there. Your, uh, you're, you know, he's not in the front. I, I'm aware. I didn't move Nick Bradshaw back to the front row for a reason. Wanted to get a chance to get a little bit of buffage going on here. Yeah, give me the double. There's my boy Jack Dawson dropping the hammer. Probably not going to get a kill out of this. Yeah, not even with the bleed. Too much health, so we're going to have to take one Drums of Doom or the equivalent thereof. It's a tiny amount of stress. We'll be fine. Little butcher's cut. Lepers are extra vulnerable to bleed, so we kind of be, be cognizant of that. We don't want uh, Jack Dawson getting hit with too many bleed attacks. And I think maybe we go for the AoE heal here just for the... There's my criticals. I was going to say, just for the opportunity to get some extra critical. And we did... Uh, ooh, look at that. Jack Dawson showing his stuff. Hey, baby, how you doing? You want to show me your stuff, Jack Dawson? Come on over here and bring it to Perfidious. Beat that Leonardo DiCaprio is a handsome cat. Seems like kind of a douche nozzle, but he is a handsome cat. Okay. Um, you know, our light's above 75, which is where we want it. Three rooms to go. I haven't even paid attention to what our mission... Okay, complete 100% of room battles. I guess I didn't even complete a, pay any complete attention at all to what our actual overall stated goal is for this particular quest. 100% of room battles means we're probably going to every room, because my guess is we're going to find that final battle in the final room. You know, the trap maker's art isn't really that curious. Pete, once again, you didn't restore your party order. I'm aware. Wanted to get rid of that debuff. We'll put them in order back after this party. Plus, we're going to look like, from the looks of things, you're going to need that stress relief. We just took quite a bit. So kill these maggots. Yeah, both of them are dead without getting a chance to do anything. I like that. And now start to bleed. Ghouls bleed pretty good. Okay, three damage there. We could try and farm a little bit of extra stress relief here. I really don't feel like that's a good benefit for us against the ghoul. They have so many stress attacks. I don't want to run the risk of taking an extra turn for a little bit of stress relief and ending up taking way more stress than I can possibly heal. Which we're still probably going to do if this criticals. Okay, didn't critical, which is nice. Did launch us a little bit of a bleed, though. Yeah, it's a pretty hefty bleed. Nine overall damage. Okay, you have fatal damage now. You do. All right, we're not going to worry about this. 20 for you, 21. Elizabeth March gets the stress heal, then. We can always have our leper, you know, physician heal that self. Get rid of his own stress. Again, this guy never gets to go again. He's going to drop dead. Right there. Journals of Darius Rutgers. Yeah, trampled journal. Not on my watch. It's Darius Rucker GTFO, man. Darius or GTFO? Okay, got at least one more room to go through. We will... Man, we have walked into every trap in this dungeon. Can none of you scout at all? You know, we, we had holy water there. We, we, we could have could have cleansed that pile of bones, Jack. I'm just... You know, you know what, Jack? I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. That's all I'm going to say. We might as well eat this food because it's otherwise just going to go to waste. And we did pay good money for the medicinal herbs that allowed us to sort of harvest that food. Once again, Pete, you have not put your party back in. It's a spider and two maggots. Are we really that worried about a spider and two maggots? I think the answer is no. I was thinking about going for the AoE damage. I'd really rather just get the kill on the spider, which we did. Yes, we did. Nick Bradshaw with a sweet dodge. Can he do it twice? He can! Goose, how come he didn't dodge the canopy of that F-18 quite so effectively? 
Somebody out there right now will be like, Pete, your voice sounds really kind of fucked up. I think I'm getting a cold, and I gotta say, my throat's getting, like, real scratchy here. It felt fine at the start of the episode, but the longer I talk and the more stress I put on it here, it's really starting to kind of feel itchy and burny. It's like I got gonorrhea of the throat suddenly. Suddenly, Pete, you've had that forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Real funny. Real funny. Okay, nice dodge there. Dawson got a rack of blades. We have bandages. May as well check them out. Okay. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Fat stack of gold. More than paid for what it cost us. That one definitely covered the price of entry. We'll max our torchlight. Last fight is in this room, so we're going to put our party back in order. And we're going to take the insta-gib here from Nick Bradshaw with his quick draw charm. Or we're going to get surprised and get completely fucked out of that whole deal. Okay. Well, you know what? Screw it. We're still going to get it. Solo. Got the debuff times three. Big accuracy penalty helps our dodge quite a bit. Okay, Elizabeth March. Not exactly... Damn, that, that didn't work out so well. Here comes a munch and munch. Jack Dawson can dodge, though. All right, well, let's get you one forward. This does give us a slight damage debuff, but I got a feeling like Dawson is going to mop those two up. Faux shizzle. And I think we'll drop a bomb on this man. And I just realized I have left Bradshaw with no target whatsoever. Yep, because this can't hit that row. All right. Guess we'll just pointlessly murder that corpse then. And speaking of pointless corpse murder, we're going to probably continue in that route since Dawson's going to have nothing to hit either. Drums of debilitation. That's okay. We're going to take a little bit of... Actually, that's not even a stress attack. It's just a mark. Well, go ahead and die then. Corpse is out of the way. We... I mean, I suppose we could go for the heals here and try and get the critical for the stress relief. Didn't pan out, but that's a real no harm, no foul kind of situation. Give me the battle ballad for the bonus crit. And let's see if our girl here can finish off the last remaining man. Yep, he's dead. The bleed will get him. Don't worry. Oh, actually, the bleed's not going to have a chance. Jack Dawson will get him. Don't worry. Dawson picking up the slack. We have full loot of the dungeon. There's nothing else in here. Nope, that's it. Adventure complete. We're done. Oh, son. We done. Quest rewards were fairly unimpressive, although we did, you know, for a small dungeon, haul out a reasonable supply of cash. Probably about as much as we'll spend on provisions for our next mission. But hey, Bradshaw got up to resolve rank four. Dawson stayed at four, which is actually more important. Fear of Eldritch is real bad, though. Ruined Scrounger replaced Armor's Tinker. That's a, okay, so a double downgrade and scurvy for Jack Dawson. Warren's Tactician is pointless. Fear of Beast is also bad, and the runs. So, all in all, we kind of got fucked there at the end. The dungeon really put us to us at the close. They they finished strong. We don't want a dungeon to finish as strong. No better place for those in search Either of you rank like 50? Nope. You're... Okay, well, the Antique Roadshow can just keep on traveling past my town. Podme's stress is gone. Sophia's stress is gone. Uh, Hoban? Perform meditation, found a new quirk. Oh, good. He got Meditator to replace Beast Slayer. What a delightful pickup that was. Matthew Crawley got rid of his spotted fever, at least. Okay. Well, you know what, Washburn? You weren't going in the dungeon anyway. And what disease do you have? Lethargy. Well, let's get rid of that. So basically, we got enough cash to pay for our quirk and disease removal. Because I am actually going to, for once, pay to get rid of this quirk on Jack Dawson. Fear of Eldritch just, no, that's too bad. It's, it's got to go. March, what disease did you get? You got the runs. We could cure that in dungeon or, you know, nah, never mind. Just, just here. We'll pay the gold. It's fine. We're going to have a tough time saying we even broke even on last mission. Rita Morgan, what disease have you got? You got a tapeworm. Wouldn't mind getting rid of that as well. But honestly, I think the tapeworm, that's going to be one we probably cure in dungeon with like a plague doctor or a grave digger or something. And I think if we are going to do that, we'll probably do it next time. Let's take a quick peek down to Stagecoach. Eh, I'm not really interested in any of you. I've got one Primrose Everdeen. I don't really feel like I need another one. Especially after her sister Katniss had the temerity to live to the end of that novel and survive to marry her true love and raise a family. It's fucking disappointing. Just like this episode was disappointing. But hey, on the plus side, they're both over. 
If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to be disappointed again in a future date, although our Darkest Dungeon run is coming up, and if you enjoy a little schadenfreude, watching that should be entertaining. So you might consider subscribing as well. Right now, though, thanks very much for watching. I'm going to go make myself a nice cup of tea and maybe put some honey in it and see if I can soothe this sore throat. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.